Hello everyone, Amber here, you're welcome to another episode of The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we did so much stuff on Wind Waker, and tons of side quests, and we got the sale. We got three pieces of, no, we got two pieces of heart. And we actually walked out with a very, with a very solid amount of rupees. And we actually didn't have a chance to earn some more, so he's just teaching us about the sale. I think I remember, I actually don't remember. Okay, so yeah. So I think if I can, yeah. So now that we do have the sail, we can go wherever the wind is blowing. And however, we can only go one way right now. Because the wind is blowing this way, but don't worry, that'll change very soon now. We see two islands in the distance, one in which we are heading to. Now we got, you can't do anything with that glowing spot right now. We're gonna ignore it until we get an item. So yeah, that big volcano-like island, that's where we're headed to for the story. And that's where the main part of this episode will be. But that island over there, we also want to head to because it'll actually serve very high purpose. Also, if you sail through these, that's just a little tidbit. If you sail through these, the barrels pop up and you get rubies. I thought it was kind of fun. And also, there's a little hideout thing over there. I'm pretty sure, and I think that's beetle also. You never know what kind of stuff there can be over there. Oh, wait a minute, I see a tinkle bottle. And we totally just missed it, whatever. That was a fail. Okay, so let's get off and swim up on this island then. Cause it will be very nice that we did. Also, I'm so tempted. What the balls? I'm trying to pull out my sword, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I don't even know what it says here, but, uh, entrance, yeah, the entrance is right here. To this, into this little area, just jump in. Let's do this, so let's see. Hmm. So we're in this cave-like area that is actually filled with churches. Oh, God. You don't actually have to fight these guys, but uh, this could be handy. What we do want is some. Can't get it this way. I'm just killing them because I hate them. Okay, let's. I don't remember which way you're supposed to go to find. Oh, here it is. Gymnast. That's so that's pairing it. That's like one of the coolest features in this game. That's why I love combat so much. Oh, whoops. No, you guys gotta see what we get. I accidentally press minus. Yes, we get a piece of heart. So now we actually get a new heart container, which is pretty sweet. First dungeon is sneaking up on us, so that'll be pretty darn helpful now. Now, let's see if I can remember how the heck we get out of here. So this way? Yeah, yeah, that's this way. How does this work? We just stand in magical light and it picks us up. Nintendo. Nintendo logic at its finest. I remember in my very first playthrough of this game, that was the first piece of heart I got. Piece of heart that I got. And that that's pretty embarrassing when you think about it. Like, in all honesty. Because as you can see, like, now that I know what I'm doing and I've got a lot of memories of many different playthroughs of this game, I know exactly where, what we're supposed to be doing. Where's the King of Red Lines? I know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, and we already have a piece of heart. We could check the Tango model. Okay, I just looked at it. Whoever did it didn't have the Picto box. Let's talk to these people, though. I wonder if, I don't remember these guys, I just wonder if they have anything. Oh yeah, they just explain the whole concept of like finding treasure on the seafloor. I'll explain that once we can actually do it. It gives treasure, we actually have a couple of these. Also because the boat is tilted, Link is like, it really works stance. Beyond, like guys, understand, we got so lucky on that main game, on Windfall. 
understand. We got so lucky on that new game on Windfall Island that I'm so I feel so grateful though. Like for real. That was so much luck. You can also stop by Beetle and get a few things, but I don't think it's worth it. At least right now. But we're about to get a really good opportunity to earn some money. Also, I think if there's enemy on there, then I might as well kill it, because why not? You know, this episode is mostly story stuff. Die. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, anything in your pots? Money. I mean, that, I actually feel kind of bad about that. Like, this guy, he was, like, living on a little raft. I don't even know. Maybe he's a part of that group over there. But that's actually kind of sad when you think about it. Like, I wonder what he was actually up to just sitting on that thing. Eh, I guess we'll never know. Okay, but yeah, um, also, there's a day and night cycle sketch people. But yeah, this is where we are going to be going. And you can see all these little silhouettes of islands in the distance, which is so cool to me. And one thing, the only, and I think this is going to be very smooth, let's play, especially since they know what I'm doing. The, the, there is, I must tell you guys, there is one thing I'm worried about. And I'm, and I already told you guys that I am playing this game off of memory, only memory. Which probably won't mean 100%, but it will definitely mean, it won't, it'll definitely be a lot of stuff we'll be doing. But what I am worried about is the Triforce Shards. That is the thing that always stumped me. I never was, oh, I did it blind before, but it was so frustrating, especially in the original. Like, especially, but yeah, he, saying, here we are, driving this island. High atop this island, peak lives the spirit of the a great dragon by the name of Baloo. Oh, there's a lot of tingle pots. I see two. Okay, so we need to get the Dins Pearl. Oh, I was throwing on it. This is the Wind Waker. Now, where were you keeping that? As a baton of sorts that was used long ago when people played using a prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed them to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. So, yeah, I was going to teach you how to use the wind maker. First, conduct it three fourths time. Do not touch out. Just try using our. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just telling us. Doom. Very nice. Okay, hold it. Yeah, I already know how to use a wind waker, so I don't need this, but. So I'm just gonna fly through it. And then you also have six fourth times. We're not gonna get any songs that require that until much later in the game, and they're not gonna be as useful. But now that we have the wind maker, we're gonna go do something almost immediately. And that is go right here and we're gonna learn a song that is gonna be essential. Like I'm pretty sure we have to do this eventually. So you see we see these engravings on it, and they look kind of similar. Yes, you are correct. They look exactly like the Wind Waker charms. So yeah, let's pull out our Wind Waker, and yes, we see them. And now we're gonna learn a new song. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, there we go. I wish I could hear this music though, for real. You learn the wind's requiem. Rec requiem. Jeez. And then this guy comes. Yeah, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name is Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. Forget her. You've got a nice wind sense about it. I like you, kid. That's what you just picked up. It gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It sounds you say my brother Cyclops is myth about his monument. You're being broken. And now he spends time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones to see, just ties my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Now, this is actually going to be involved in a much greater side quest slash kind of, I guess I should call it like, like, see, roaming nuisance. Like, 
There's little things like that that like attack you while you're roaming and stuff like that. Like the closest thing I can relate to is things like Jolene and Phantom Hourglass. Like I like I don't know if anyone's actually played that game. It's actually really good. I don't know why no one likes the DS styles. But yeah, so if anyone's played Phantom Hourglass is the closest example of like I guess I can say like a roaming. Yeah, why would I even try? Like a roam like I'm trying to think like like, yeah, that's the closest thing. Jolene, and then, like, those bosses you run. Oh, that was a fail beyond propor epic proportions. Wow, I am stupid. Thank you. Ooh, sweet, 10 rupees. You know, when will I ever not take 10 rupees are sweet. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. I'm pretty sure bombs don't bounce off rocks, so in my defense. Did they respawn? Because that would be a pretty easy way to grind money. Easy way to grind money. Yeah! Oh, sweet! We're actually gonna get a lot of money, though. Really soon. What does this say? It's not a commission bridge, I'm guessing. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, it just says mail centers that way. But we can't go that way. Like, obviously. So the farming skills are not on point right now. Oh crap, did the recording software? Oh crap, did the recording software just glitch out? No! Oh my gosh, I was trying to look and see if the software was glitching. Wow, I'm having a lot more trouble with this than I should. That just says something about me. Oh my gosh! That's so annoying. I the, the annoying part is that they bounce and stuff. That should work. Thank you. Oh, fine. I'll take it. Okay, so yeah, we have to slide across here. Man, that is so dangerous. I don't know why Link would do something like that. Like, especially like in the Fortress Sacred like, Fortress, that's like so scary. Like on his tiptoes and everything. Okay, so now we can. Yeah, that's that's what happened. That's what just happened. That's what just happened. That's so bull. That's such bull. Like legit. What the heck? How you like the bomb goes too far? How am I supposed to do that? And this is a really stupid thing to struggle over, but it, the bomb is the, at least the bomb plants are really annoying for that reason and that reason alone. No! What is going on with me? These mechanics, like, ugh. Like, there's never, there's always problems in the same games, and there's very few problems. This is my favorite Zelda game. There's very few problems, but the problems it does have are really biting me in the butt right now. Like, for example, the whole mechanic of the A button. That's very slippery. These bomb mechanics that really frustrate me because of how far they throw and the fact that they bounce and slide. It's the little things that I'm struggling with when I 100% this game blind before. Not blind, but on my own. <sighs> so crazy. Like, I don't even know. And, like, then what else? Oh, thank you. And what we actually can do is we can pull this out. So now we have an easier way out. I was getting a little frustrated if it wasn't that hard to tell because that's this isn't hard stuff. But look, this is the postman guy that convinced the pirates to join us and stuff. So we're pretty grateful for that. Link, Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I certainly the chieftain will befriend you and lend you aid of our ear. It's settled, then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Uh, 
Okie dokie. Now there actually is one little thing I want to do. That side quest. There's not a lot of side quest stuff in this episode, as I said. Except for the piece of heart. And what I'm about to do. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please give me your pearls. Don't be mad at me for breaking the two pots. You see that mailman guy up there? He is the guy that we want to talk to. Because we can do a mini game that actually earns rupees. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Grateful News anger? Ah, Sierra Link, are you? Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We should do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rio tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the grace of the sky spirit, Baloo. When a Rio reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of dragons to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is a scale that enables a Rio to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the one gentle Baloo has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are made will never receive scales from Baloo on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless and in time our very way of life will be threatened. As teacher of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this time. Will you do so? Chief, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. But let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways. In the light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? They just so happy. I'd be like, well, sure, man, but I mean. Just be chill, though. I am running Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. I forgot. Do you go to Medley first or Kamali? Okay, he's gonna give us something. He gives us a delivery bag. Sweet. Speaking of deliveries, we actually want to talk to something. However, I'm not sure what we should do first. Or if we should do this in the next episode or focus on story stuff. I don't know. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly show it off. So there is a man up here, and you can play a little mini game that actually earns you some rupees. And it'll trigger a real a side quest that can earn us a piece of heart if we get at least 25 letters in this mini game. So yeah, we'll agree, and I'll explain how it works. You just have to get the letters in the right spots. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this actually gives me a lot of trouble usually. I'm not that good at it. A good strategy though is using the D-pad, I would say. But yeah, you have a time. Oh, you see, I just screwed up there. You don't want to miss any letters. And you also don't want to... Especially when you get lucky like that. Oh my god, no, we screwed it up. Oh, we could, if we didn't screw that up, we actually would have made it. And we get paid for this. So yeah, oh my god, I, I wanted to try that one more time. And that costs us nothing, so we can do this many times we want and actually be decent at this. So, so let's try that again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty much not missing a letter and being generally quick will easily win you this. And when you also have to be quick, if you get multiple at the same time, you have to react fast. Sweet, we did it! Nice! Yep, we 
actually already completed the first part of this. Okay, so yeah, now let's go talk to this person over here. Now, you're gonna see, <sighs> that's so frustrating. It's the little things, like I said, man. Hello, this is Medley. Now, she is a fan favorite character by far, and she is what makes one type really cool. You're like, aren't you, Omi? I'm attending a great spy spirit, Malou. My name is Medley. Well, I'll tell you, stream, they're not going to tend to quiet. I'm actually still studying to be one. What I, oh, what am I thinking here? This is from the Chieftain. He wants to give this to, directly to Prince Kamali. You accept the father's letter. Okay, so yeah. You look like a duck from this angle, Medley. So yeah, we gotta take this to Kamali. The room way back in the back of the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go there down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, I'm listening, Wayne. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Race Cabin Leader? I explain everything then. Okie dokie. Now I can jump down. And now we are going to go through here to Prince Kamali's room. Why are you guys, why is your son, like, why is a chief's son locked in the cellar? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Yes, there he is. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, wait. I have to pull out the letter. Here we go. So let's show him this with X. A letter? From my father? Well, sure, tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's going to do that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scout from Blue. You were in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose is other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Blue right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scout from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm him down? Psh! That's a big fat lie. It's easy to just say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Race to get to Malou, then I'll listen to anything you say. They bolded that, obviously. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Children is calling me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called the Dim's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. My grandma used to be Malou's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Malou's language. Oh, grandma, if she were here, I know she could call Malou down. I just know it. My father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm them down. It's impossible. Well, what is it, huh? Listen, well, you can say all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? Hand over to some do nothing guy, am I? Oh, we're gonna show you. Can we still talk to you? Okay. I just wanna make sure. Because I don't wanna skip anything and have to come back down here. So yeah, let's go and meet Medley at the entrance now. It's actually the, I, I thought, what? Oh my gosh. The entrance is actually back up where Medley was. It's just, behind, there was a door, but. Mechanics. Okay, yeah, it's behind here, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, I was right. Oh, can we not come in from here? I remember this being the way to go. That's really odd. How do we get in there then? This is what I, I must have mixed something up, I guess. It's strange. There's probably another way in. Is it out here? I'm being so forgetful. This is what happens when I try and play off of memory. Yep, here it is. There she is. Hi! Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. These places used to be spring here, surrounded by beautiful ponds. It was peaceful and lovely. 
But then the great blue, you became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and the splitter crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the results. Oh, where's my mind? Tell me, how's Prince Cavalli? Well, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Cavalli's taken. See, Prince Cavalli's grandmother was the Grand Blue's former tenure. She's an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind of and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great blue. Not your worthy, I'm not your worthy, you mentioned the same breath as her. If only we possess, possess some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. My I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragoners, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could just get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Will you? Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Face that legend toss me. The atmosphere of currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. We don't have to. We got the wind waker. Oh wait, wrong. Sorry, wrong. So we can make the wind go in any direction you want. Thanks to this. Maybe we're gonna have it permanently go this way. And then we are just gonna throw you! What? What the heck? Yeah, I throw her from far. What the heck? Oh, wait. Nope, I see the problem. I see what we gotta do. Use the ledge, I forgot. Yeah, we have the wind permanently blowing this way. Now this is why. Now you can you can wait after the dungeon to get the wind waker, but I think it's easier to do before the dungeon, so this little part's a little easier. Now we have a little card. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna give us, but we aren't gonna let that happen. We're going after her, and you know it. But she gives us an empty bottle. And trust me, that's how we are going to do it. We're going to use this bottle. So yeah, let's go. So let's I'm gonna take this. And hold on. But yeah, let's take the bottle and equip it to X. And then use it and scoop up some of this water. You filled your bottle with the water. Yes, we did. <laughs> and then we're going to... This really confused me when I first, like, on my blind line, I had no idea that you could climb this bridge. I got really, I was, like, so confused. And then, yes, you see these withered bomb plants. We are going to use the water to water these, and then use them to blow up this big rock over there. What? Okay, so that didn't work for whatever reason. What the heck? Oh, would they fall in the water? Are they just broken or something? There we go. And you see that is going to make the springs gush up, and then we can swim over. So yeah, that's how you do that. Really, now when I played this, like, and I was eight when I first played this, like, you're going to hear stories that make me sound stupid. Like, you're going to hear a lot of them about my first playthrough of this game, but this took me an hour to figure out. So, but yeah, I was eight, and it was the original. But the original was still great. Like them. So yeah, I I still would play the original again if given the opportunity, but I can't. And honestly, I mean, why wouldn't you want to play the HD version instead? It is better, but like, it's not. It's like the original is still good. Also, please. What does that not count? Cause it didn't go in. That makes me kind of upset. It went in. Yeah, this is why the bomb, I wish like, what, I'm so surprised it was, like, I'm so hyped for Zelda U because I can see so many things that would make Zelda a better franchise. Like, there should be like a little thing where you can see exactly where your bomb is going to land before you, like, throw it. Like, I don't know how to say it, like, a little analog thing. I, I don't know. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, sweet. Basket bombs. OK. 
Okay, so now we are making our way inside the first dungeon in the game. So now we have arrived, and I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. In the next episode, we will take on Dragon Moose Cavern. I hope you all are excited, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye, everyone.